Hey there guys, it's Metro, and today we are going to be making a video that will be used as mathematical evidence for the item level scaling situation in Battle for Azeroth, and something that obviously needs to be done because a lot of misinformation has been happening. So the proper way to use this video is first to watch, you know, potentially watch the background footage. All the data is going to be on screen, but on top of that, I'm going to be giving a little bit of commentary where it is relevant. Out of the gate, we're starting with just a random mob out in the world a mob that demonstrates scaling. I do want to point out that I tried this on many different types of mobs and not all of them scale, which is a bit odd, but we'll leave that out of the equation for tonight. So anyway, as you see, uh, there's going to be an uh, item level description. Now, this is done by removing gear. You could actually sell your gear to a vendor and uh, it will basically delete it from your character's count. So the mob will scale down. This does not work simply by taking the gear off. You have to actually sell it. So if you have the vendor mount, sell it and then just buy it back after combat. And as you're seeing on the screen here, no significant difference in any of the combat time. And this is very important because, uh, you know, a lot of people have been saying it's actually faster to have lower item level. You lose power as you gain item level. Your, whatever, your time to kill is going lower or is lower when you have lower gear and it's getting higher the more gear you get. And this is factually wrong. So I wanted to demonstrate this. Now, of course, as any good study, uh, you know, there's obviously going to be room for error. Number one error is human error. I, I might not be executing the exact same rotation every time, especially when we're fighting this. This is a world boss mob. It takes me almost a minute to kill on both. And obviously that might lead me to making some errors with the rotation. But uh, regardless, the fact that it's within a couple, even if it was just within three or four seconds of each other, that would be significant enough to, to pretty much make the point that we're trying to make here. But regardless, there's of course human error. Another big source of error is of course that I'm playing a tank. I don't know, uh, you know necessarily why this might matter. But perhaps if you're somebody who relies on a, a different source of burst or outcome of damage, uh, then maybe it might be different. So if you guys are playing other characters that you have around 340 item level and you want to do uh, these tests, I would love to see them. Uh, in fact, if you want to make a similar video to this, let me know. I, I will uh, do everything I can to promote it and get the information out there. Just you know, send me a link to it on Discord or, or wherever you might be able to send me a link. But and then, of course, the third thing that might be causing some problems here is uh, I'm like I'm deleting my gear, which this is not what, you know, like 95 percent of the people in the world might be doing. Uh, but it's important that I do this because a lot of people have been circulating this rumor that if you just sell your gear, you will kill things faster. A in fact, one of the people which we're going to be addressing very shortly here, one of the people said that if you go naked, it's actually ridiculously faster. And we're going to show that that is not the case. So the reason we're doing 232 item levels because that's pretty much the lowest possible item level you'd ever even consider getting to 120 at. You'd have to really be not taking any upgrades throughout the leveling process. I mean, for, for reference, my Blood Death Knight before we even started leveling was 255, almost 260 item level after we got the neck. So yeah, that's it, you're, you're never going to get to 120 with this item level, but this is as low as you're going to get. And now here is 83 item level. As you see, all I have is the neck a weapon and a trinket that is not going to improve my DPS whatsoever on. And it takes me over two minutes and eight seconds, you know, over two minutes. That is all you need to know. Obviously not true. Now, again, this might be because something I, I somehow I could have severely messed up the rotation. I can't imagine how I would have added a minute to the flight time with just that. Uh, I could have obviously, uh, it could be part of my, the, the blood death night situation. And finally, it might be different if you're actually wearing gear somehow that's getting you to 83 item level or subsequently 232 whatever whatever the low item levels are and, and you know while i was thinking about making this video i was you know reading the reading the posts and listening to everybody talk about these things and they're, they're basically saying that there's some kind of sweet spot where uh, it's very bad very 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 bad and then you graduate out of it and it's fine again in fact i think some of the direct comments were it was good terrible and then good again almost identical so one way or the other i'm unable to disprove this because i'm not able to you know piecemeal my item level down even removing one item takes me to uh, an item level that you're going to see here in the end and we are going to show again demonstrated at 318 item level which is actually pretty representative of what you might be at after maybe one or two days at max level if you're not going right into zero as mythic plus mythic zero dungeons that is but regardless 
I'm showing you the painstaking facts here that, first of all, fighting mobs naked is never going to be a good thing. I, I don't know why anybody would think that. You would have to really show me some strong evidence that this is the case because it, it really doesn't make any sense. You don't have any haste. You, you know, trinkets are such a big part of the game. The Azerite gear, you know, enchants. These things are augments that don't matter about your item level. You know what I mean? And this is completely done without any consumables any potions I think it's very important that people watching this understand that if you think it's taking me 50 whatever like you know almost a minute to kill this this boss this mob out in the world if I had consumables which I almost always do while I'm doing world quests if I had uh, the buffs you know there's buffs in the zone just like little flowers on the ground that you can get that will increase your stats and damage or I, if I have the shrines as well as a horde you can get these shrine buffs that are going to dramatically improve your throughput and you know, there's all these different ways to improve your damage. So I just don't really understand uh, the arguments. Um, you know, people are basically talking about it like it's it's ruined the game. It's had some dramatic effect on the game. Now we're going to show AOE. This, I think, is a little bit more representative of what a lot of people are doing. Uh, you know, obviously killing a single name mob for some of the world quests is good. But other types of world quests, you might be rounding up multiple mobs. So we have three different types of mobs. The health pools are on the screen. And really, you know, if, if we were to take anything away from this entire video, it's that... You know, even though I'm, I'm getting a bunch of item level, like we're going from almost 100 item level jump, or more than 100 item level jump at, at times here, it, it's not actually that big of a DPS loss. Now, that's a problem in and of itself. We, we could make a whole nother video on this. But the point is that even though I'm, I'm not wearing four pieces of gear, my damage is not lowered in such a way that it feels like I'm not doing any damage and yet the times are still the same. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, there, there's definitely scaling, okay? This is obviously proving that as well. So it's kind of proving both sides of the arguments. The scaling is definitely in, and um, you know, maybe you don't like that anyway. If, if you don't, I, I'd love to hear why, but I think Blizzard made a pretty good point that, you know, with the, the World Quest stuff scaling, it, you know, the gear that is scaling from the World Quest, it is important that the monsters scale at least to some degree. But, you know, people who are saying it, you actually do less damage, you know, like things are, are slower. And uh, so here's here's another example, right? 318. This is where we're going to conclude the video because, you know, like I said, I've seen people say that like from like 300 to 312, I don't know, some whatever the, the value of the day is, right? They're basically saying that, uh, you know, when you're under geared and then you start getting more gear, it gets worse. And I, I don't find this to be true. So again, it might be because I'm, you know, wearing powerful gear. Uh, it might be some other other factor. I'd love to hear all the, the myriad of reasons why you think this is not factual evidence. But honestly, if you, if you, if you feel that way, why don't you record yourself doing it? I'd love to see it. Uh, we could talk about it. Like I said, I'll do everything in my power to promote it. If anybody out there can show me factual evidence doing identical rotations, right, with the, the, the DPS chart on the screen, you could see it. Actually, it's very noticeable. In that last clip, my one of my Azerite traits actually procced, and that obviously did extra damage for free, didn't add any globals to the, and it was still longer, right? So the, the values on the screen, very important. It's very important that you're recognizing the facts here, that these fights are almost identical. Actually, the lower item level fights take me about one second, one or two seconds max more, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? It, it's really not that big of a deal. So anyway, I'd love to see your guys' response to this. Just wanted to make this to kind of quiet the crowd on this. And uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we will see you guys in the next one.